Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you guys? We're okay. It's all good? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Okay, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What is the party? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're ready to start, right? This is class or class number 11. And I want to pass attendance first. Please help me up and say present right as soon as you listen to your names. Here we go. Ana Emperatriz. Ana Maria. Present. Ana Mercedes, thank you. Present. Good. Andrea. Andrea. Carmen. Present. Good. Daniela. Edith Carmen. Edma. Presente, teacher. Okay. Present. Present. Thank you. Harrison. Ever. Present. Okay. Iris Regina. Present. Iris Rosario. Present. Okay. Jose. Sí, María Julia. Present teacher. Sí, Marvin. Present teacher. Ovidio. Reina. Ricardo. Roger. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa. Present. Thank you. Sandra. Present. Good. Sarah? Present. Good. Sonia? Silvia? Stephanie? Walter? Present. Good. And Jennifer? Jennifer is here. Well, I can see all the participants. Good afternoon. Gerson, Esmeralda. Good afternoon, teacher. Thank you. I can see Reina too. How are you guys? Hello, hello. We are okay. Here. Daniela, hello. Good afternoon. Present teacher. Thank you. You must have a near. Oh, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Algo más? Se me escape. Lo pronto solamente ellos. Okay. Si alguien más se me une o se me acaba de unir, me, me avisa. Ya agregué a Daniela, Gerson, Esmeralda, and, o Reina, and Jennifer. Okay. Thank you, Reina. Tito. Okay. He estado, se ha estado actualizando lo, ¿verdad? el control de notas y he estado observando que algunos se me han quedado. No hemos avanzado con la sección 4. Posiblemente lo estamos haciendo porque nos hemos dejado, ¿verdad? Lo hemos dejado pausado. Y otros que veo que se me han quedado también. Posiblemente he visto algunos que han llegado a la sección 2. Espero que se pueda poner al día. 
y pues creo que se las está igual contactando para saber si todo está bien. Es muy importante, como ustedes saben, para completar todo según se les va indicando para que no les genere ningún inconveniente ¿verdad? más adelante. Puedan ¿verdad? seguir eh, en ese programa sin ningún problema. ¿verdad? Recuerden que esos son los requisitos ¿verdad? que se les da para que ustedes puedan eh, optar por esa oportunidad, claro, que debemos de aprovechar, ¿verdad? aprovechar al máximo. Si es que hagamos lo posible, si hemos, nos hemos quedado, nos hemos atrasado de poder completar, porque, repito, he estado actualizando para los que se unen ahorita, actualizando el control de notas, y veo todavía algunos que se me han quedado. Se me han quedado con en la sección 2, posiblemente. Son pocos, y otros en la sección 3. Recuerden que esta semana hicimos con la sección 4. Y... Pues no, no, no he visto que, bueno, según el control, ¿verdad?, que, que llevamos, no han avanzado. Espero que ese día y mañana lo puedan hacer, porque mañana debe de ser completo todo, es la sección 4, ¿verdad?, específicamente. Y ya la, pues la próxima semana, como ustedes saben, sería la última y vamos con la sección 5. Sería la última sección y el examen final, ¿verdad?, que es el que nos queda. Entonces, que ser énfasis en, en eso, ¿verdad? La, la invitación para todos, tener pasar en el guardia laboratorio por WhatsApp, en el grupo, para que puedan seguir, ¿verdad? Y eh, hagamos el espacio, por favor, para poder completar ¿verdad? lo que nos hace falta en la sección 4. Y si ya lo terminamos, pues perfecto. Entonces, gracias por su doble esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que todos están haciendo un doble esfuerzo y pues hay que seguir, ¿verdad? Hay que seguir eh, practicando, mejorando mucho más. Cualquier duda de consulta saben que estamos a la orden eh, en el grupo forma personal posiblemente a veces no les responda, ¿verdad? Inmediatamente, pero lo hago en su momento tengan eso, ¿verdad? En mente para que no digan, ¿verdad? Que no, no les conteste, ¿ok? Es que estamos ahí siempre, siempre pendientes de cada uno de ustedes. Eh, ¿Qué más? Eso es con respecto a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Hay que seguir hacia la sección 4. Vamos a ir trabajando y eh, reforzando, ¿verdad? Facilitando el contenido para que ustedes pues, puedan reforzar, ¿verdad? Como lo mencioné hace un momento y puedan mejorar, claro, mucho más. No sé si hay dudas, preguntas, algún comentario. Ustedes saben muy bien su progreso, ¿verdad? El progreso que llevan en la plataforma. No es necesario que, bueno, eso no, claro, no es necesario estar diciendo un nombre, ¿verdad? No. Pero sí se le está este laboratorio en general, acá y por medio de WhatsApp. Es que ah, todos sabemos nuestro, nuestro desempeño, ¿verdad? Yo sé que algunos, eh, bueno, la mayoría, pasan bien ocupados sus trabajos, sus clases, posiblemente eh, aparte, eh, no sé, diferentes situaciones, ¿verdad? Es que, claro, se entiende, pasan, tienen diferentes actividades, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues a veces se les hace muy difícil, pero hagamos lo posible, please. Hagamos lo posible por completar para que no tenga ningún inconveniente, repito. Y estar presentes, claro, estar presentes. Eh, Acá en las clases, acabar los 60 minutos, ¿verdad? La obra, para que no les genere ningún inconveniente también con la asistencia. Es que eso básicamente es lo que, con lo que quiero iniciar eh, y poder, ¿verdad? Hacer énfasis en eso, que es muy importante, ¿verdad? Para su desarrollo y, claro, para poder, ¿verdad? Seguir con, con el beneficio ¿verdad? que tienen ustedes. Así que hay que aprovechar. Preguntas. Dudas, nuevamente, comentarios, tenemos espacio de preguntas. Esperarla. Tiene una pregunta, vi que se nos micrófono. No sé si está. Tiene una pregunta, nos está hablando, pero no la escucho. Ok. 
Creo que tiene el micrófono encendido. Ah, ok. Bueno, aquí más, si no, damos inicio, ¿verdad? A la clase. ¿Está todo claro? No estamos bien. No los escucho. Sí, dígame, Esmeralda. Creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Está preguntando por chat, creo. Ah, ok, el ejercicio 4.4 me dice. Veamos ahorita, claro. Ok. It says, instructions complete the conversation with someone any. Some or any, sorry. Vamos a completar la conversación con someone or any. ¿Cuál es su duda? ¿Es con respecto a todo el toda la conversación o algún ítem en especial. No, su, su respuesta su. En lo que ella, pero nos, nos envía por chat. Lo que vamos a ir haciendo, la verdad, es completando la, la conversación. Eh, seguir la verdad claro, siempre recuerden que es muy importante seguir el orden. Seguir esa secuencia de la conversación desde inicio a fin, ¿verdad? Para poder darle sentido a las palabras. Eh, it says, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Any, right? Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Some. Okay. Ah, okay. As we saw in the previous class, Esmeralda, remember? We saw this in the previous class. We use some for affirmative and we use any for negative. Recordemos la clase de ayer, como lo vimos ayer. Some is for affirmative and any is for negative. Or questions, right? Or questions. It says, okay, do we have mayonnaise? Any or some? What do you think? Any or some? Any. any. Yes, because it's a question. Do you have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some or any. Um, some. Some, exactly. Some. Because it's affirmative. If you, if you have affirmative, you use some. If it is a question or negative, you use any, right? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So no worries. Ustedes pueden hacer sus, sus preguntas, no se preocupen. Y con gusto les, les ayudo, les aclaro. Les hago énfasis, ¿verdad? Si tuvimos dudas, por ejemplo, con la clase de ayer, pues pueden preguntar o pueden ver la grabación, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Y poderse aclarar algo, ¿verdad? O me pueden preguntar directamente, claro. Bueno, veo por acá... Uh, Ricardo and Ana Imperatriz. Hello, guys. Solo los agrego la lista y vamos a iniciar con la clase. Ese día. ¿Alguien más? Además de Ricardo y Ana Imperatriz, que se acaba de unir. Solamente ellos. Vamos por chat, creo que alguien más me hizo una pregunta. Ah, ok, es la Patricia. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Bueno, eso es lo que tiene que hacer Esmeralda y cada uno para usted. Eh, antes, deben ir seleccionando some or any. Remember, some is for affirmative, any is for questions in negative form. Ok, that is the way. Excellent. Ah, ok, Ricardo, no worries. Probablemente ahorita tengamos, ¿verdad?, problemas de conexión, porque en algunos lugares está, pues, creo que lloviendo. No se preocupen. Eh, se está grabando, pues, si en caso tengamos muchas dificultades en la conexión específicamente, o, claro, a veces la, el servicio de luz, ¿verdad?, pues, se, se va la luz, en ese caso, y eh, no hay ningún problema. Si, pues, pueden seguir, ¿verdad?, activos, posiblemente tengamos datos en su teléfono y carga, claro. Sigamos, ¿verdad? Si no, no se preocupen. Eh, lo pueden reportar, claro, eh, específicamente porque son cositas, ¿verdad?, que uno no puede controlar. 
Así es que tranquilos. Simplemente en algunas áreas se sabe bien ahorita. Eh, si desean que repita algo, pues me avisan. Ok. Eh, en vista que no hay más preguntas, si las hay, por favor, hacerlas. No nos quedemos, ¿verdad?, con la duda, no nos quedemos callados. Preguntemos, preguntemos. The topic, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Class number 11. Today is Wednesday, March 30th. Let's start. Okay, first we have this vocabulary. What do you have for breakfast? Listen to my question. What do people have for breakfast in other countries? For example, here we have three countries, the US, Japan, and Mexico. Three different countries, right? Three different countries. The US, Japan, and Mexico, okay? Let me know a second, I want to... What do people have for breakfast in other countries? Here we have, you know, some specific, I would say, you know, food items, right? Let's say um, a menu, right? A menu in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico, right? We can include El Salvador, right? El Salvador, we know that it's different, right, in our cases too. But we have some similarities with other countries, right? Posiblemente tenemos diferencias o similitudes con otros países. Cuanto a la forma en que ellos, verdad, tienen su o quieren su desayuno, verdad, comen. Caso. Eh, in the U.S., right, eh, people usually eat or have, you know, eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Jam or jelly. Listen again. The U.S., eggs, bacon, toast with butter. Orange juice, coffee, jam, and or jelly. Or jelly. The US. Okay, so American people, American people, American people, sorry, usually have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. Right, that's what they have for breakfast. Okay, I would say American people, right? American people have, let's say, you know, I will give you some examples. I will say eggs, bacon, toast, butter, and let's say orange juice. Orange juice for breakfast. Okay. American people have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, and orange juice for breakfast. Okay. In Japan, well, Japan, Japanese people have fish, rice, yeah, fish. Interesting, right? Interesting. Fish, rice, soup, pickles. And green tea. Green tea. Thus, you know, those are different food items that Japanese people have for breakfast. Fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. Listen again. Fish, rice, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. This is interesting. Imagine, imagine to have bread, to have, sorry, imagine to have fish for breakfast, right? That's weird, but you know, that's the way, that's the way people eat, right? In Japan.
Japanese people eat fish, rice, and green tea for breakfast, for example. Interesante, ¿verdad? Interesante comer pescado para el desayuno. Pero es pat. Japanese people. Okay. Again, listen, please. Fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. What about me in Mexico? Mexican people have eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, soup, bread, coffee with milk. So that looks like, you know, Salvador, right? Salvadorian food. Eggs, beans, tortillas, tortillas, fresh fruit, soup bread, coffee with milk. So we can say Mexican people have eggs, beans, Let's say tortillas, tortillas, and I would say fresh fruit. And now we're talking about Mexican people, right? So this, you know, kind of, I would say menu, menu is alive, right, with ours, okay? Ese, la forma en como los mexicanos, ¿verdad? Ingieren sus alimentos, es decir, Similar to the last one. Mexican people have eggs, beans, tortillas, and fresh fruit for breakfast. Right? Any questions? How do you say Chile in English? Chile. 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 Yeah. Okay. Somebody else? Okay, which of these is similar to, you know, our food? Which is, which of these is similar to the way we eat or we have breakfast in El Salvador? Which one? The US, Japan, or Mexico? Mexico. Mexico, right? Sorry? Perdón. Eh, que es jam y jelly. Oh, el... jam and jelly. Yeah, sí. eh, jam is, for example, how can I say this? Mm, there are some people that they prepare sandwiches, right, in the morning, but they don't want to add, for example, a ham, a cheese. They prefer a jam, right? Jam. Mm -hmm. So this is sweet. This is sweet. Jelly. Hmm. Jelly is similar. Jelly is similar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me show you. This is jam. <clears throat> Sorry. This is jam. Mm -hmm. And jelly is the same. It's the same. I mean, it's this one, right? But it's similar. It's gelatina. Exactly, but you know, not it's. Um, I'm gonna say this. Is this? Is this ah, kind of jelly? Yeah. Gelatina is claro. Es esa, right? Jelly. It's a jelly, but you know, there is another kind of, uh, you know, let's like, say jam. Mermelada. Uh, you can say jelly, right? Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. There are some, there are other people, right, that they, they add or they apply, right? I mean, they add, sorry, honey, right? Honey. Honey. Con okay. mantequilla de mami también. Exactly. Peanut, peanut butter, right? Peanut butter. Yes. Peanut exactly. butter. That's delicious. Delicious. Oops. <laughs> peanut butter. That is delicious. Uh, there are there is a one way. I mean, you say but peanut butter and jelly. Have you ever tried uh, sandwiches like this, peanut butter and jelly? Yes. 
¿Alguna vez han intentado esa forma? Yes, my my daughter is delicious on the evening in the morning. Yeah, this this is delicious. This is delicious. Uh, there is a there is a sun. There is a sun of this peanut butter and jelly sun. I recommend it to you. <laughs> Hay una canción de 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 esto en inglés. Se la recomiendo. Peanut butter and jelly sun. Yeah. Okay. So this is what people eat, right? Not like have for breakfast in other countries, sorry. No copy el nombre de la canción. Oh yeah. Peanut butter and jelly sun. It's a, you know, um it's a funny, it's a funny and you know this is a song for children, right? But it, I mean I really like in my case I really like those songs, right? Because it helps us to you know, acquire new knowledge, and at the same time, we can practice our English, right? Esa canción, por ejemplo, es bien conocida. Para, son verdad, la mayoría de esas canciones son como verdad infantiles, pero son muy bonitas, la verdad, y se aprende bastante con ellas, cantando, ¿verdad? Cantando el vocabulario, etc. En lo personal, yo... ¿Sorry? Sing it, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will do it. No les, <laughs> no les. <laughs> Ahorita porque no, 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 no les puedo, no les puedo mostrar, ¿verdad? Por razones. Eh, en el caso de, porque eso está en YouTube, ¿verdad? Pues no les puedo mostrar. Por verdad, derechos de, de autor, todo eso. Entonces, ¿perdón? Ahí se las mandé en el chat. Oh, ok. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, oh, you select, ok. Usted, se le, usted encontró otra. Yo, eh, le voy a compartir la que yo, la que yo tengo. Esa es otra, claro. Hay otra canción que es bastante eh, es bien bonita. Le va a gustar por to, los gestos, ¿verdad? Todo lo que las, la speaker hace. Las acciones, etc. Ok. Thank you. Well, I was asking you, is, are these, you know, meals... So let's say menus similar to El Salvador or which one? You say Mexico, right? Mexico or Mexican food is similar to, to ours, right? Talking about breakfast, right? Breakfast. What do we have for breakfast, guys? What do Salvadorian people have for breakfast? I need to think about it. You know, first we're going to practice with the vocabulary, okay? Listen and repeat. The U.S. X. 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 Bacon. 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 Toast Bacon. with butter. Toast, Toast with, butter. with butter. Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice. juice. Orange Coffee. Juice. Coffee, Coffee, jam, jam or jelly, or jelly, jam or jelly, jelly. Jelly. Or jelly. Jelly. Fish. fish, 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 rice, 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 soup. rice, soup. Soup. rice, soup. Soup. pickles, pickles, green tea, green tea. Green tea. For Mexico, we have eggs. X, 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 beans, 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 tortillas, 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 tortillas. fresh fruit, fresh fruit, fresh fruit, good bread, good bread, good bread, coffee with milk, coffee with coffee milk. Coffee with milk. milk. Yes. Okay. Did you have any questions again? No. No. Somebody else? Preguntas? Okay. Over here, I have a video. I'm going to play it, right? 
I'm going to play the video and I need you to pay attention to this. What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, we're going to watch the video. Just give me a second. Vamos a reproducir un video. Please let me know if you can watch and listen to the video. What do you usually have for breakfast? Yeah, can you? Vamos a ver el video. Escucharlo también. Yes. 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 Okay, please pay attention to this. What do you usually have for breakfast? Hot chocolate. Milk. Crackers, ham, fried egg, sandwich, orange juice, pancake, coffee, bread, cheese, fruit, Scrambled eggs. Cereal. What do you usually have for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually have hot chocolate, crackers, and scrambled eggs. What do you usually have for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually have coffee, bread, ham, and fried egg. What do you usually have for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually have cereal, milk, and fruit. What do you usually have for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually have orange juice, pancake, and cheese. Let's practice. Look and say, what do you usually have for breakfast? What was that combination? What do you usually have for, for breakfast? I usually have Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Crackers. Crackers. And scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yes. Very good. Es eso, teacher. Scrambled eggs. Huevo revuelto. Exactly. Huevo revuelto o picado. Huevo picado. Yeah. That is scrambled eggs. Very good. Okay, next. Listen. Great job. What do you usually have for breakfast? Coffee, bread. Do you usually have a breakfast? Coffee. I, I, I coffee. usually coffee. Remember, I usually coffee. Yeah, listen, listen. Remember, I usually have. I usually coffee. have coffee. I usually, coffee. Coffee. I usually, I usually bread. coffee. Bread, bread. 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 and ham. Yeah, ham. 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 Very good. Excellent. Oh, I forgot one. In X X Exactly. X. Yeah. Great job. What do you usually have for breakfast? Look at look at first. Look at first. What do you usually have for breakfast, Sam? I usually have 
Cereal. Yes, exactly. Don't forget, I usually have cereal, milk, and fruit. That is the way. Very good. I think we have John, the last one. What do you usually have for breakfast? Great. Okay, what do you usually have for breakfast? I usually have orange juice, orange juice, and cheese. Yes. Yes. That, that is a, a, you know, that is a good combination, right? Pancake, orange juice, and cheese. Una combinación algo, algo extraña, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. 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 Salty. Salty and, yeah, exactly. And, and sweet again, right? Sweet, salty. Exactly, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Job. No, that is the last one. Okay. Any questions? No? So far, so good. So, bien, se La respuesta siempre va a ser I usually have. Mm, no. no, you can vary the, the answer. You can say I have, because I have, and you mentioned the food, right? I have, uh, for example, beans, eggs, and cream for breakfast. Ambas podrían ser. No? Yeah. Okay. Yes, both. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me give you some examples. The question is, what do you have for breakfast? You can say, I usually have beans, eggs, and cream. I usually have beans, eggs, and cream. Or I can say, I, I have beans, eggs, and cream. Right. Another possibility, I usually, or I sometimes, I would say, have pupusas. I sometimes have pupusas, or I always have pupusas, always, every day, every day. I have, I have, okay? Let's practice, let's practice together. Now is your turn. You're going to tell us what you have for breakfast, okay? In my case, if you ask me, what do you have for breakfast? I can tell you, I, have, I usually have beans, eggs, Cream and coffee, right? Or I sometimes have pupusas, right? Yes. Um, oh, you can say, Ricardo, platano frito, you can say fry banana, bananas. Or in some cases, you can say fry uh, plantains. Both are correct. Both are correct. Ambos pueden ser válidos. Fried bananas or fried plantains. So people tend to say just bananas. Bananas, it's okay. Solo podemos decir bananas, it's okay. Okay, now is your turn. What do you have for breakfast? I have, I usually have, I always have, etc. What do you have for breakfast? Let me see. Um, Marvin, what do you have for breakfast? Marvin? Marvin is having some meat. See? Ana Maria, what do you have for breakfast? Uh, when I woke up, how, how do you say? When I wake up late? Ah, yeah, when I wake up late, yes. I usually have coffee and sweet bread. 
Oh. But when I wake up early, I have eggs, beans, and bread with coffee. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a great you know breakfast, right? That's a great meal. Thank you so much. Ana Maria, select someone, please. Who's a classmate? Edma Azalia Marina Peña. Okay, can you ask a question to, to Edma and Maria, please? What do you have for breakfast? Okay, I usually have for breakfast, perdón, I usually have two eggs, some, creo que se dice huevo estrellado. Fried eggs, fried eggs. Fried Fried eggs, two fried eggs, uh, beans and cheese, fried fruit, coffee with meal, and toast, toast, toast bread. ¿Cómo se dice toast? Pan tostado, teacher. You can say toast. Toast. Toast bread. Just like this, toast. 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 Solo, solo así lo puede decir. No necesario mencionar bread again. Toast. Toast bread. Yes. No, okay. bread no. Lo, lo puedo emitir. Lo puedo emitir. Toast. toast. On the toast. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Edma, select someone, please. Oh, it is Regina. Okay, can you ask to Iris, please, the same question? Okay. Hi. What do you have for breakfast? I uh, usually have breakfast and, and juice uh, green. And eggs and coffee. coffee. Depend depend the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. We need to vary, right? The, the meals. Tenemos que cambiar la la la. la. Eh, ¿Cómo se le dice? Se me ha olvidado la palabra. La forma, verdad? La forma de 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 estas comidas. Exacto. Eh, what was the first thing that you mentioned, Iris? ¿Qué fue lo primero que mencionó? I have... Um, I have... I have green the juice green. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, green juice. Green juice. Yeah. Green juice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one observation for everybody. You can say, listen, you can say, for breakfast, I have, right? Yeah. I have. Well, you can say I have. And you mentioned right for breakfast. Okay, those are the two possibilities. For breakfast, I have beans, eggs, and cream. Or I have beans, eggs, and cream for breakfast. Okay, that is the way. Okay. Thank you. It is select somebody else, please. Uh, uh, Maria Julia. Maria Julia, okay, can you ask a question yes. to Maria Julia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Maria. It's what do you have for breakfast? For breakfast. I usually have um, fruit banana. Green, coffee, and pan. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Maria Julia, can you select one, please? Please, select a man. Uh, select a man. Um, Walter. <laughs> Walter, okay. Can you ask a question to Walter, please? Walter, Tell what me. did you have? for breakfast okay because i am poor man i am not have a lot of money everybody i <laughs> <laughs> i usually have a fried beans or blended beans cheese or, or cream cheese or cream but no both together a cup of coffee some bread Instead, scrambled eggs or pupusas. 
Okay. Always with the cup of coffee. Of course. We need it, right? <laughs> coffee, orange juice. It's, it is weird, right, to see that someone is having a soda, right, for breakfast. <laughs> it's weird, but some people, you know, do, right? Es raro ver que alguien, aunque sí hay, ¿verdad? Hay personas que, que, que toman soda por la mañana, ¿verdad? El plena mañana. <laughs> okay. Hey, Walter, can you select somebody else, please? Let me see. Sure. Who will be my next victim? Mm -hmm. uh, you are looking to me, Ricardo. <laughs> okay, yeah. ask the question, Walter, to Ricardo, please. Hey, Ricardo, what do you have for breakfast, boy? I usually have um, bread and beans and fried banana a cream a cup of coffee excellent ricardo thank you hey, ricardo can you do me a favor can you select another classmate please Ana Mercedes. Okay. Can you ask a question to Ana Mercedes, Ricardo, please? What do you have for breakfast? I usually have cereal, fresh fruit, yogurt, and coffee. That's great, that's great. Thank you. Well, listen, we have another possibility, right? When we ask, for another person, right? If, for example, if you say, what does your mother have for breakfast? Or what does your father have for breakfast? What does your sister for breakfast, right? Et cetera. What does your mother have for breakfast? Well, my mother, or she usually has pancakes, right? Pancakes, my cakes. My mother has pancakes for breakfast, right? Or I can say she, she sometimes has pupusas. Sorry, cereal. Cereal. Okay. She sometimes has cereal. It's the same, right? We're saying what all the people have, you know, what the people have, sorry, for breakfast. For breakfast. I can say about my mother, my father, my brother, my grandmother. Etc. You know that they, you know, some people have different kind of meals, right, for breakfast. Sabemos que hay personas que, personas de nuestra familia, verdad, que toman eh, diferentes eh, tipos de comida, verdad. No exactamente lo que vamos todos posiblemente por a veces dietas, etc. Para la salud. What does your mother have for breakfast? I would like to listen to some some of you guys. Let me see. Kenison, what, what does your mother have for breakfast? Kenison? Can you hear me, Kenison? Let's put you. Oh, I think Kenison is having some issues right now. Okay, we will try with Sara. Sara, what does your mother have for breakfast? Um, what does what does your mother have for bre breakfast? Yes. Um, um, she usually has pupusas. Okay. Yeah, very good. She usually has pupusas. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. 
Okay. Ever? Thank you. You're welcome. What does your mother have for breakfast ever? Excuse me, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice plátano sancochado? Mm, that's a good question. In glorias. <laughs> yeah. In <El> gloria. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so that one way can be like boiled bananas. Boiled bananas. Let me look for it because I'm not sure. I'm not sure because we say, yeah, plátano sin gloria. What was the other word that you said? Plátano sancochado. Sancochado. Mm. It's usually in breakfast, teacher. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course it is. Nosotros le decimos sancochado, ¿verdad? Pero ni, ni. Es sancochado porque es está alcochado es cuando va con sal. Se dice plátano hervidito. Nosotros le decimos eh, en gloria. gloria. Exacto. Exacto. <risa> eh, ya, yeah, pollo. Pollo, bananas. You can say pollo, bananas. That is the way. Porque ¿verdad? en inglés, en inglés es, bien, es bien diferente. Es decir, posiblemente lo decimos sacochado, lo decimos es, uh, en gloria. Right? Son palabras propias que nosotros le damos, ¿verdad? En inglés es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero lo asocié a her hervir, ¿verdad? En ese caso, boiled bananas. Eh, I think en la Mercedes, ¿verdad? Right? Vos en la Mercedes. ¿Qué me preguntó? Teacher. Uh, sorry, I think I, it was Rosa. Do you have a question? Mm, teacher, yo había escuchado que se dicen a los plátanos plantains, algo así. Yeah, you can say fried plantains. Fried plantains or fr fried bananas. Ambos formas son correctas. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Okay. Well, I guess we, we are with Ever, right? Ever, what does your mother have for breakfast? She has beans, eggs, cheese, and coffee. Yeah, well done. Thank you, Ever. Let's see. The participant. Emperatriz, what does your mother have for breakfast? Uh, she has uh, beans, uh, fried eggs, uh, cheese, and coffee. Good, good job. Okay. Sandra, what about your mother? What does your mother have for breakfast? Uh, she usually, usually has uh, beans, fried eggs, and cream and esa señora come bastante quiero ver <laughs> fried bananas y coffee okay, okay. yeah pretty good yeah eating eating is delicious right eating is delicious of course <laughs> okay let's see um well, I want to listen to somebody else uh, Reina, what does your mother eat for, have a breakfast, sorry. What does your mother have for breakfast? She sometimes coffee with me, a sandwich and soup bread. Uh, remember, she sometimes has, she sometimes has. Very nice, thank you. Well, it, this is the way guys we ask, right, for meals, meals that you have in different times, right? Breakfast, lunch, of course, and dinner, okay? This is speci specifically, this is for breakfast, for breakfast, right? Do you have any questions? Preguntas, dudas? ¿Está todo muy bien en este momento? ¿Todo claro? Yes, teacher. 
Yes. yes. Good. Okay, we have here a conversation. We're going to put into practice this vocabulary in context. Look at the conversation, Sean, and I need you to listen and practice with your classmates. So we have this conversation between Sara and Kumiko. Kumiko, okay? Good, let's go with these two, you know, guys, right? These two women. Let's practice with a conversation. Listen first, listen first. Sara and Kumiko, let's start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So am I, so am I. Uh, Ana Maria, we're getting hungry, yeah, of course. We're talking about food. Okay, listen to the conversation. It says, Sara starts. Let's make, sorry, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. So this is an interesting you know, conversation, right? Uh, but I imagine, right, that, you know, Japanese or Chinese people, right, eat in a, a strange way, right, of course. But, you know, imagine again to eat fish, right, rice and soup for breakfast. Right. So that is something interesting, right? It's interesting. Eh, a ver que, bueno, incluso en otros países hay, hay personas que desayunan, ¿verdad? De, de una forma. Eh, se me dio la palabra, ¿cómo se dice? De una palabra, de una forma. Mmm, rara. Extraña. Bueno, exacto. Bueno, no, no, no lo quería decir tanto así, ¿verdad? Rara, extraña, pero así es la forma, ¿verdad? Estaba buscando la otra palabra que se me, se me fue. Y, pero sí, he, he, he escuchado casos, ¿verdad? Que algunas personas comen eh, de una manera, ¿verdad? Extraña. Pero así es la forma, ¿verdad? Como se han acostumbrado, claro. But imagine to eat fish, rice, and soup for breakfast. Right? It's weird. It's weird. Of course, those are, you know, because of the, their styles, right? Styles, cultures in these countries. Eso tiene que ver, ¿verdad? También por sus estilos eh, eh, y sus culturas, ¿verdad? Okay, do you have any questions about a conversation? Preguntas acerca de la conversación? Perdón. Sara. Sara. Este, ¿qué significa todo? Together. Together. Uh -huh. Together. Well, imagine Sarah that I said, Sarah, let's go to uh, what? Let's go to the movies together. Together. So you accompany, right? You accompany me because I want to go to the cinema, Sarah, and now I, I want to invite you. So let's go together. You and I. Okay. You and I together. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Rosa? Yes, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué significa to try new thing? Ah, okay, okay. Eh, Rosa, you can ask me what does that mean, for example? What is the meaning of try to try new things? Sorry. What is the meaning of? Uh, try new things. You can ask me in English. De esa forma me puede preguntar acerca del significado de algo. En inglés, claro. Creo que nos vamos acostumbrado. What is the meaning what? of? Yeah. What is the meaning of? Yeah, try new things, for example. Así sería. Right? Yes, yes. What is the meaning of try new things? Well, try new things means... For example, let me see. Mm. 
well in the past right um in my case i had never uh tried sushi before so i did it i did it like i think five years ago so it was my first time because i didn't try or i didn't eat sushi before but now you know i i had experience right so i had i had tried sushi you know once so that is trying new things right trying new things mm -hmm. For example, if you haven't uh, eaten sushi before, so try it, right? You can eat it. Try it and you will see that it's good, right? It's good. That is trying new things. That uh, you haven't tried, I mean, you haven't eaten something before, for example. Okay. Does it make sense, Rosa? Mm, no, no me queda muy claro. Kind of? but... Okay, let me give another example. Let me see. Mm. Say another kind of food. Mm. For example, in, imagine that Rosa, you like sports, right? Soccer, basketball, uh, baseball, but you have you have never. You have never played, for example, tennis before, right? Tennis before. And someone invites, invites you to go, right? Play tennis, right? So you will try new things because you have never played tennis before, okay? Nunca jugado, por ejemplo, tennis, ¿verdad? Antes. So if you if you try, I mean you play tennis, it's the first time, right? So you try new things. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Oh yes? Sí. Yes. Okay, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's practice with the conversation. By the way, Rosa, can you help with the conversation? Uh, Rosa, uh, you will help me with the conversation. You'll be Sara and I'm going to be Kumiko. Okay. Kumiko. Voy a dar con la conversación. Usted va a ser Sara y yo Kumiko. Okay. Okay. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat things for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Exactly. Repeat for me, Rosa, one more time. Interesting. Interesting. Inter interesting. Interesting, exactly. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I will go with the last two participants because of the time, right? Uh, I will listen to Andrea in Esmeralda, you too. Vamos con los últimos participantes por el tiempo y le voy a pedir por que podamos practicar. Andrea en Esmeralda, can you help me? Yes. Yes, Esmeralda. Oh, I think Esmeralda was having an issue with the microphone. Creo que Esmeralda tenía problemas con micrófonos. We're going to listen to somebody else. Edith, can you help me? Edith and Andrea. Okay. Okay. Um, Andrea, you will be Kumiko. Edith, you are Sara. Okay. Let's okay. start. Edith, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always have Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish, fish for breakfast that interns. Inter Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Wow, 
I never eat fish for best price, but I like to try new uh, things. Yeah, for me, it is interesting. 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 Yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, if we're going to start right here because it's time, but I would like you to practice with a conversation, please. Um, between, you know, Sara and Kumiko. And I want to assign you an extra practice. Quiero, vamos a quedarse acá, pero quiero que practicamos con la conversación, please. Eh, por el tiempo, pues no podemos escuchar a los demás. And les quiero asignar lo siguiente para seguir con esa temática, right? What do you have for lunch? And what do you have for dinner? Okay, let's go with the other times of, you know, of meals, right? Lunch and dinner. The one that we saw today was, what do you have for breakfast, right? What do you have for breakfast? That is in the morning. And then I will ask you for lunch and dinner, right? So I need you to answer these questions, please. And tell us what do you have, right, for those meals. For breakfast, again, right, lunch and dinner. Breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, and dinner in the evening, right? Okay, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the same, right, you have to say, for example, I have, blah, blah, I have, and I have, you have the last one, the same, right? This is an extra practice for you. I need you to, you know, continue and tell us what do you have, right, for lunch and dinner, okay? Did you have any questions? No? Preguntas? Todo claro. Yes. Bueno, por la hora vamos a quedar a esa calle. Se queda es hora. Gracias por su tiempo. Thank you, Anne Patrice. Okay, guys, we will continue tomorrow. Please complete the platform. Completemos la plataforma, la sección 4. Sigamos, please. No se nos olvide. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good day. Stay safe and blessings. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. God bless you.